Hi y'all, I'm Melody, and welcome to my channel where I discuss fragrances. Today, I wanted to go over some samples and see if any of them are full bottle worthy. So if you're interested, please keep watching. I'm sorry for my voice. My family is getting over a cold, and um, so I'm drinking something to uh, clear my throat a little bit, but um, uh, we're going on vacation in just a few days, and I want to get a few videos filmed um, for that time that I'm going to be spending with my family and celebrating my birthday. So um, I apologize for my voice. Um, I'll also be wearing the same outfit in several videos. But anyways, on to the video. So I keep my fragrance samples in this little box. I've got um, several. Every time I purchase from FragranceNet or FragranceX, I grab a few samples just so I can try new things. But for today, I just wanted to share three samples that I got from FragranceX and see which one of these is full bottle worthy. Um, each one of these is from Reminiscence. I've taken some notes um, on the fragrances and I'm going to spread them on a card to um, remind myself. So the main accords for Draggy are Floral Sweet Vanilla white, floral, citrus, powdery, musky, fruity, almond, and warm, spicy. The top notes are mandarin orange, cardamom, pettigrain, middle notes almond blossom, orange blossom, plum, and base notes are vanilla, musk, and cedar. Okay, so the notes that I wrote down before was that I get a burst of cherry, um, and then like a thick liqueur type smell. Um, and I think that the cherry is coming from that almond blossom um, and that that liqueur smell I think is maybe from the plum. Uh, I wrote down that it's very sweet, maybe a bit animalic as it dries down. Um, it's slightly woody from the cedar. It's a bit sharp and it's pretty strong. It's compared to Aqua de Parma's uh, Mandel Orlo de Sicilia. I think I pronounced that right. Um, which I have to agree. It is it is a really nice scent. Um, I did write down that in the dry down, all there's a slight sweetness, but it's overpowered by um, a strong cedar note. Um, it reminds me of the cedar chest that my grandfather made one year for Christmas. Um, but I really do like it. I like woody scents. Um, I do like that cherry opening. Yeah, it's already drying down to a pretty woody cedar scent. I don't really get any of the vanilla. Um, there's not much of a hint of orange blossom. I don't actually smell any of the top notes. Right away I get this cherry smell, which I'm guessing is from the almond blossom. I know those can often come off kind of as a cherry smell. Um, there was no like spiciness from the cardamom or anything. That musky animalic smell is there, but it's not too bad. Um, this is definitely a fragrance that I would pick up. I definitely think Draggy is um, full bottle worthy. Uh, if you get it on sale at Fragrance X or Fragrance Net, it's about $50 and they come in these really cute kind of classic bottles. Um, I really enjoy this scent. Next I have Guimauve. I, th I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not entirely sure. Main Accords of Vanilla, Aromatic, Citrus, Fresh, Spicy, Sweet, Almond, green, woody, powdery, and lavender. The top notes are almond, lavender, mint, rosemary, tangerine, orange, green notes, sea notes, and bergamot. Middle notes of neroli, pettigrain, jasmine, and black pepper. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, ambergris, patchouli, and cedar. That is a mouthful. <laughs> My note said uh, there's a blast of sweetness at the first spray, then it begins to warm up. Uh, so it's a very aromatic, uh, coming from that lavender and rosemary and maybe some of the green notes, the pettigrain. Uh, it warms up nicely. It gets a little spicy, but it's very aromatic. It honestly smells like walking by a Lush store. I don't personally always like that smell, but I can imagine certain times wanting the smell. Um, it is really nice. I am enjoying the almond. I typically don't like lavender, but there's something to this lavender that's quite nice. Um, I'm noticing that um, the black pepper is kind of doing the same thing that I noticed in uh, Linterdy uh, Intense uh, that has a black pepper note and it's kind of giving me the same vibe. Um, I don't know how many 
other notes that these two share, but I think it's probably that black pepper that's doing it. Um, there's a nice woody base from the cedar. I get a little bit of the sandalwood. Um, there's a bit of a sweetness from, I'm guessing that's the vanilla and tonka bean together. It is really nice. Um, the more I smell it, the more I'm enjoying it. Um, I have a bit more reservations on this one. Uh, it too comes in a beautiful bottle and um, it's about the same price. But if I were to pick one, I think I'd probably still go with Draggy. Although this one is really nice as well. Lastly, I have Heliotrope. Um, so the main accords are vanilla, almond, powdery, sweet, fruity, woody, amber, nutty, warm, spicy, and floral. The top notes are fig and green notes. Then the middle notes are almond, heliotrope, patchouli, sandalwood, and cedar. Base notes of tonka bean, vanilla, benzoin, and musk. Okay, right away, it smells really medicinal <clears throat> and green. Um, it kind of, it's that fig. Um, I don't know if fig is typically considered a note that smells medicinal, but I think the mixture of that fig and green notes is coming off very medicinal to my nose. It smells like bag balm. Um, you know that green tin um, of like this goopy, like kind of a butt paste or something for babies and it has like a little rose on it. Um, this is what that's smelling like to me. It kind of reminds me of Juliet Has a Gun's mmm uh, right at the very beginning and on a card um, that Juliet Has a Gun mmm fragrance is really lovely but it starts to smell kind of bag balmy to me um which I don't really care for but I did write down that that fragrance mm, by Juliet Hasigan share the same notes of heliotrope patchouli sandalwood musk and vanilla uh, it has that lotiony kind of play-doh giving me that same vibe as like hypnotic poison I actually don't mind it um if I'm not like thinking about it too hard I don't really get that play-doh but this one is stronger in that Play-Doh smell. Um, of all of them, I think Heliotrope is my least favorite, which I'm surprised by because I actually do like a lot of fragrances with Heliotrope in them. So I don't think this one is full bottle worthy for me. If I were to just get one, i get Draggy. Um, but Guimauve is a contender as well. So those are my samples of the Reminiscence uh, fragrances. I enjoyed all of them to varying degrees. Uh, Draggy was my favorite of the bunch and it is definitely on my list of fragrances to purchase. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for fragrances you think I might like, please drop those down uh, below. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. I really hope you subscribe to see more videos. I have a lot planned for next year. so. I hope to read your comments and see you here again. Bye.